feels like God's presence has been over my life for a very long time. From the moment I couldn't even think on my own, God had a plan for me. My mom and dad already had three children, and my dad had a dream that they were going to have another child with blue eyes. And there I came, the blue-eyed baby. <laughs> when I was born, one of my tear ducts wasn't working properly, and the doctor said they were going to have to do surgery. But my parents decided to pray and pray, and they were just prayer warriors. And right before the surgery, they had this tremendous peace come over them. And the doctor said my tear ducts were working again. And so even whenever I was an infant and before I was even born, uh, God had his hand over me and had a plan for me. It makes me very grateful to know that God had his hand over me, even when I was innocent and helpless. One of the scariest times in my life was when I started in third grade. I was doing everything I could should do. I was having fun with my cousins and having dinner with them. And all of a sudden, my uncle pulls me aside and tells me my dad was in the hospital and we needed to go see him. So my dad had a sudden heart attack and my mom rushed him to the hospital. As my uncle rushed me to the hospital, me and my siblings all saw him wrapped up in cords and tubes. And it was pretty scary to see when you're eight years old. As they were operating on my dad, he died on the table for a brief amount of time and they resuscitated him and got him back. When I got to see him again, he told me when he died, he felt his spirit separate from his body like, 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 like lightning like this. And he came face to face with Jesus and he saw Jesus first as a white light figure, then a human figure, then a blood figure, and then one of fire. Uh, Jesus told my dad that he needed to go back to earth and my dad told Jesus that he wanted to stay with him of course but Jesus told him he was going back and my dad's last moments talking with Jesus he asked him how could I praise you better and Jesus told him through your senses uh, when you experience your senses praise me so then the surgeon told my dad that the internist cardiologist did not expect him to be alive the next day because all the arteries to his heart were clogged. But Jesus had other plans for my father, plans to bring more people to eternity and to raise a family that would share the good news of Jesus. And so that was my first encounter with the grace of God, giving my father back to me at such a young age. As I continued to build a relationship with Jesus, I started to read my Bible and go to church. I was hearing so many testimonies and prayed a lot. There was this time in middle school when someone prophesied over me when I was 13 and I was reading back in my journal like yesterday and this man prophesied over me that I would have a wallet and it would be filled with cards and I would have a Jesus business card and wherever I would go um, that card would fall out and people would come to know Christ and people would know who you are. And looking back at it, I was, man, that encouraged me so much. And 13 years old, it didn't really make sense to me, but, but now doing what I'm doing, it just makes total sense. Another amazing moment I had with Jesus was when I was in middle school. It's honestly really silly, but it just shows that God cares. I was wanting to go to my cousin's house, but I had tennis practice and my brother got to go. So that made me really upset. Um, so as I finished practice, I took a shower in one of those glass showers that has a glass on both sides and started singing songs to God and I was crying and as I was singing songs I just saw Jesus' face appear in the glass and he winked at me telling me it was going to be okay. I, met, I immediately felt unclean, confused and I felt like I was in the presence of someone holy and I grabbed a towel and I ran out, out as fast as I could and told my parents and now I know why everyone in the Bible was so afraid whenever they saw an angel and the angel had to tell them to not be afraid. During the spiritual high as a kid, I was so passionate about Jesus. I told my classmates that I saw Jesus and they made fun of me and honestly, it was, it was really hard on me. And middle school and high school was not my favorite. Um, I was friends with everyone, but didn't really belong to a group of friends. so. I wasn't invited to a lot of things, a lot, a lot of the times I was considered too Christian, 
And so I felt really lonely, but I had, I had my siblings and cousins and I kept myself busy in church and sports. My sophomore year of high school, I learned a lot. When I went to a camp called Kennecook and I served there in the kitchen for a week and it was very humbling. We had to clean and set up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And during that time, I was poured into by a K-Life leader and he taught me how to read the Bible. And he told me to memorize 2 Timothy 2.22 and that says to flee youthful passions and to pursue righteousness, love, peace, along with those who call upon a pure heart. And we went through Ephesians that whole week. And during that time, I grew a lot and gained a mentor and had someone else besides my family pouring into me. My relationship with God started at a very young age. And even though time seemed tough and lonely, God got me through all of it. And I'm glad I, I'm here today and I owe it all to God. If you're looking to find a local church near you or you need prayer, I'll put a link in the description. And if you're ready to give your life to Christ or rededicate your life to Jesus, pray this prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I admit that I am a sinner and that my sin separates me from you and must be punished by death. Thank you for sending your only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me in order to pay for my sins in full with his death. Open the door of my heart and invite Jesus Christ to come into my life and to be my savior. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life and for giving me the free gift of eternal life and the promise of living with you in heaven forever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I post. And guys, thank you so much for watching. See ya.